Hello everyone, you're listening to my third midweek segment. I'm your host for today, Vince, and my topic is part two of Alan's midweek segment. We are talking about how you should never judge a book by its cover. Stay tuned, it's going to be pretty awesome. So for those of you who have not watched it, please go check out Al's segment um, on this topic. He can put words together to create something truly emotional, something that consists only of true passion. Al, I just wanted to say you did a great job, and I hope I can follow up with something just as special. So once again, today we are talking about never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book if only people took the time to look. I know it might sound silly to you, but truthfully, it's, it was silly to me too. But that's what makes this message so true. And yeah, I did try to rhyme there. I'm, I'm so cool. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Okay. All that. Um, but truly though, this is a segment that is nothing but passion, nothing but from the heart. None of this is scripted. None of this is fake. This is all true stories. And this is insane. So stay tuned. I think you're really going to like it. So, you know, ricocheting off of what Alan said. He started out with, you know, how we originally met, which is at new student orientation in fourth grade. Um, I said fourth grade with emphasis because that was a long time ago. And now we are young men entering the world day by day. And it's, it's just crazy to look back on that. So thinking back to my memories, I remember pulling up into the, the parking lot of our new school. Um, my mom pointed out that there was a blonde haired boy getting out of his car. I wasn't too sure about this boy because at the time I thought he had just some really strange hair. Al, I don't think this way anymore. Truthfully, your hair is much better than mine now, but it was blonde and it was kind of in the shape of a triangle. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I, mom, I don't know if if this is going to be the one, you know, the friend that replaces my old friends. I was so quick to judge just by a hairstyle, just by a hairstyle. And that's how quickly I was to judge solely based off of his hair. This boy also had a little sister. Um, I know the little sister, uh, now she's grown up and she, she's a great sibling. She truly is. And Al, you're blessed to have her. I mean, really. Uh, and when I think back where I used to live, it was in Cincinnati. I had a friend and he had little sisters and they were so annoying. Every time I wanted to go to his house and hang out, they would always like want to talk to me and they always try to bug us and say, Oh, I thought this TV was ours. And it's just a giant mess. So I said, I don't know if I want, you know, another friend that has a younger sister because she might be super annoying. Once again, I was so quick to judge this beautiful family. And I was so quick to judge them just by two things. And I would have never guessed that it would have ended up the way it has. So we had to stand in line. And, you know, my mom's like, talk to him. And I think I saw Al's, you know, mom nudging him too and being like, let's talk to this boy. So then our parents started to talk. And then at that point, it only felt right that Al and I, you know, engaged in the conversation. So um, this boy I've been referring to, obviously this is Al. I just want to make that clear. This boy I'm talking about, this was Al. This is how he first met. And when I talked to him that day, I would have... Never guessed that he also was into catching frogs and spying on our parents or, you know, him and I like to do do almost the exact same. We, We lived each day the exact same. We had fun the exact same way. I would have never guessed this. God puts people in our lives for a reason. It's up to us to make the connection. And I think that day we both did. We both pulled ourselves together and we made the choice to talk to each other and 
And like I said, I would have never guessed in a million years it would have ended up the way that it has. Ever since then, you know, that day, our friendship has blossomed. You know, we were able to talk to each other about everything, from girls to school. And we even talked about God. I don't think any kids at that age, you know, engage in a conversation about the man upstairs. But we did. Because that's just how well we can connect. I'm never going to forget when Al had to leave my house after hanging out. Uh, we would always make an attempt to ask for a sleepover. And it was awkward. And normally, every other time we asked, it was approved. Every other play date we had was a sleepover. I think our parents both knew that, you know, these kids have a great friendship. And they wanted to keep it going for us. Those were the days where time felt endless. I thought it would last forever. <laughs> now we have to weave our way around homework, family, and extracurriculars to be able to talk. But at that time, it, it was just so easy. And we still do talk today, Qu quite often, to be honest. We talk every single day, whether it's texting, calling, whatever. So... From then, about three years had passed, and once again, you know, Al and I were even closer than ever, and um, I was in the hospital uh, for, maybe I'll explain this down the line, but it's kind of private, so that's all you know is that I was in the hospital, and it, it's all good. Al and only one other friend came to visit me. I was at the hospital for three weeks, so it wasn't like an overnight thing. For three weeks, I was there, and... The hospital was about 45 minutes, but let's just round that with traffic to an hour. It was an hour there and back, so two hours just to come and visit me and say hi and, hey man, I hope you're feeling better. But not only that, it was on a weeknight. It was on a school night. And Al, I don't know if you'll ever understand how much that impacts me in the most positive way. You were one of two friends... And that other friend came with you. Or one of two friends that came to visit me. And that's just something that I'm never going to forget. There are times when I see movies and all I can remember is just watching them with Al. Uh, just some quick examples that come to mind. Uh, Daddy Daycare is one. The Three Stooges. Uh, and Monsters University. And so, so much more. But when I see those movies now, I automatically think of Al every time. I don't remember when I was in the theater and I saw them. I only remember seeing them with Al. And I think those memories, are certain memories, are going to last forever. You know, th those shows are always on TV. So Al is always in my thoughts. I'm going to talk about something a little bit different, but you're going to see where I'm going with it. With brands, if someone refers to your brand by its name, I think you've reached beyond baller status, right? So, for instance, a North Face jacket. If you lose your coat, you don't say, I lost my coat. You say, I lost my North Face. Uh, another example are Yeezys. You don't say, I lost my shoes. You say, I lost my Yeezys. With Al, I never once said, where is my friend? Or when I was talking to a relative, I never said, my friend and I. Or I haven't talked to my friend in a while. I always said Al. I haven't talked to Al in a while. I haven't seen Al in a while. My friend Al and I did this. And the truth is, as Al mentioned, there were times where we did grow apart. Being separated by not being in the same class for an entire year before we had phones. Getting caught up with other friends and other reasons in general. But when we did find each other again, more specifically freshman and sophomore year, we picked our friendship right back up. It was the same Al I used to know, and it was amazing. I no longer said, where is Al? Because I knew he was in my ninth period class every day. I never had to worry what I was going to talk to Al about because we turn a 30-second chat into an hour-long conversation. 
We both had phones now. We could text each other, no problem. And ever since then, we've stayed in touch. Then this summer, when Al came over to my house, the last time before he moved, everything was still the same. You know, that day, we knew that our friendship would never be the same. We knew, I think we both knew that we were going to grow apart a little bit. He was going to make new friends. I was too. And it was going to be the occasional text every month asking how each other, how, you know, we both are. But we made sure that that never happened, that we never lost touch. We didn't want it to be a monthly text. And that is the sole reason why we started this podcast. This has been the opportunity of a lifetime because we never felt more close. Regardless that we are miles apart, you know, I judged him solely by his hair and his little sister that day. And once again, Al, you have better hair than I do. Um, so with that criticism, with that criticism I had towards him, you know, I would have never guessed that would have shaped into this, a podcast channel. That's so cool. That is so cool. And him and I are doing this, you know, one day at a time, but we're going to continue to do this. Al, I wanted to say to you that I am sorry for all those times we did grow apart. For all the times where you needed a true friend and I was not there. But I'll tell you what, I am really glad we found a way to pick things back up again. To help each other out when need be and always be there for each other. I think that's what a friend is and uh, you are a true friend. And I think you and I both should have never judged each other from the minute we saw each other. Because what we have going here is something truly special and uh, it's something that I think we both cherish. So with that, everyone, thank you for tuning in to part two of the Never Judge a Book by its cover. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as Al and I have rekindled memories just thinking about it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a subscribe, comment if you've ever done this. It would mean a lot to us. Thank you guys so much. Catch you next time.